Hello again. So in this video, I'm going to show how I made my anything animation main. And fun fact, this is a remake of one I made in 2019. So, besides the animation part, excuse me, the still drawings were all done in IBIS Paint X, which I'll show here. Here they all are. So we got this part, which I'll show the time lapse. Yeah, you get the point. Yeah, all right. So all this, those still drawing parts I made in that app, and then I imported them into Toon Squid here, which as you can see, I have a crap ton of layers, so it's going to be kind of hard. However, I'm, I'm glad I uh, named them all, otherwise I'd be really confused here. So, I actually didn't use any keyframes for this. I just manually um, slid her over like that. And for the words part, Same thing, and then I just uh, put the eraser on the lower opacity and erased it to make it look like it faded out. So that's my two words there. And then I had a bouncy effect here, and um, actually the the like white ring that comes out of that part, I actually made that in the clip because like at the time, um, before the uh, some updates, Toon Squid didn't really have an effect where you could do that, so I had to do that in the clip and pour it onto here. Oh, yawning again. And then for the words, of course. Before I talk about that, the background you may have noticed like what is going on here. So the background was an image I took from Google. And the keyframes, I turned on the keyframes. And by the way, this is all 14 FPS, which I kind of regret doing. I should have done 24 to make it look smoother, but it's fine. So, at the beginning, here we go, I took the image and just dragged it over at the corner here, and then I um, took the thing, and at the very end, of course, I dragged it at, over here, so that it it does all the work for you. It moves for me. Sorry. Alright. And, um, I repeated. Oh, yeah, the heart part. Forgot about that. So the heart actually is made with, um, keyframes. I don't know why that layer is called ass, by the way. So I made the heart on I Realize Paint X. That's why it looks so perfect. I tweened the heart, but except the part when it turned black, I did that manually. I just uh, took the paint bucket tool and each time, every frame, I just colored it darker and darker until it was black. And then once it was fully black, I tweened it to bring it back down. So that's how I did that. 
And then, of course, that. Made the whole screen black, got rid of the background there. All right, then uh, you might have noticed here, I drew blue, but she doesn't have a mouth. That's because, of course, she's gonna be like still in this part, except her mouth is gonna be moving. And obviously I'm not gonna animate her mouth in that app. All right, here we go. So, oops. I had to manually do her mouth. Like that. And by the way, this was a very big pain to do. Um, it got like really pixelated at one point and I had to recolor everything. Which was, yeah, it took forever. But I'm glad I was able to do it. So, yeah, I just took, of course, this, and then just drew the mouth over here. After that, alright. I'm gonna be honest, I regret choosing this background for it because I feel like it's just very distracting from the animation in my opinion i should have chosen a better background for this part maybe like a darker one where you can focus on the animation more but lesson learned here is the hard part all right so the whole animation is in 14 FPS. I drew every frame. So I made it look like her fur was blowing in the wind. And I just looped that part. And then I drew the scarf on a layer below. So I could it look like that was blowing too. And then I drew the wing, and the wing actually is in a lower FPS in the animation, as you can see here. I think the wing would be like 7 FPS, maybe? I'm pretty sure, that, yeah, this, the wing is in 7 FPS. And I made it look like it was sort of flapping. And then for the part where she goes down, I just animated that. Got rid of the wing to make sure, make it look like it faded away by erasing it. Um, when I drew her down, I just uh, reversed that animation to make it look like she went back up. And of course that repeats and I'm gonna be honest too um, I felt like the different colored rings going out in the background were also very distracting from the animation but yeah then I completely got rid of it cut everything off as you can see here and then, of course, just had a plain gray background. Manually did everything here. And then looped. Oh yeah, and then this part, I um, just grabbed the drawing here with this tool and just kind of, oh wait, that's right, I can't use my finger for this, here we go, 
just grabbed it like that and just moved it, which I don't know why it's it's being weird right now. But yeah, like you, like most people do on fill the clip, I did the same thing here. Got rid of them. Darkened the background. And did that. Then here is the run cycle part. So I actually um, didn't really completely make the run cycle by myself. There was this free base thing. Yawning again. Free base thing. That I sampled it off. It was like a. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. And then, yeah, you might have noticed the background here is actually a free moving background from YouTube. That's why it's so big, because I wanted it to look like she was running through hard. I don't think I mentioned. The shading is on a whole different layer, as you can see. And it wouldn't be like that. Actually, the coloring and line art were also different layers here, and it wouldn't have been that, but for the new update, you couldn't merge um, layers on this side. This button right here, you that button didn't exist before. So it was kind of a pain. So that's why it's kind of weird like this. See? Line art up here. If you can see. Like that. Yet if I got rid of the line art. And got the coloring back. The line art is there. And the reason I um, doubled the line art. Was to make it a bit thicker. So you don't see these pixels here. See? That's why I did that. Alright, and the head, actually, I didn't, like, redraw the head every frame, because that would take 10 years. Instead, I just manually moved it. And I kind of regret having it go out that far, because it looks kind of weird, but... And then the white things here, I made in flip a clip, as you can see. And just added that there. Okay. And then, of course, the scarf. Then for the white part, I um, lightened her, so I just kind of, I took her color here, and then just lightened it until it looked white. For this frame here then just took the whole drawing and like just moved it around different frames to make it look like shaking and then went back then i took the um the, the drawings and just colored them all white for this silhouette part Oops. It's being dumb. Okay, there we go. And then just did the same thing here. And it all just loops for this last part. Except for like that. Ah. Okay, and then you go to the end, I had in my name, and everything I didn't make, well besides like those effect parts, this was all done on IBIS Paint X and Toon Squid. And if you're wondering what like this 
this uh, big net thing here is. I got that from Google, so that's what it actually looks like without it. But I added that to make it look a bit better. And then for the audio, it's just at the bottom here. So yeah, that's about it. Bye.